two semicircles intersect, as shown in the diagram. We know that DB is equal to 8 units. BC is equal to 4. C is equal to 12. So what is angle of angle BAC? There are many approaches we can solve this problem. In this video, I will show five ways to solve this problem. Can you figure it out? Give this problem a try when you are ready. Maybe we can explore much more from this problem. The first way. In this bigger circle on the right, let's first find the center point O. Connect OA. So OA is the radius of the semicircle. Its diameter is BE. And the diameter is equal to 12 plus 4. It is 16. So we get that the radius is equal to 8. We can figure out that OC is equal to 8 minus 4. Is equal to 4. Then connect DA. CD is the diameter of a small circle. We can get angle DAC. It's equal to 90 degrees. Let's go ahead. In triangle ACO. The two sides are 8 and 4. In the triangle ADO, the two sides are 8 and 16. And they have a common angle AOD. So these two triangles are similar. We can get AC over AD is equal to OC over OA. That's 4 over 8. And in triangle ACD, CB over BD is equal to 4 over 8. So we get AC over AD is equal to CB over BD. Use the angle bisector principle. AB is the angular bisector of angle, DAC. We can get angle BAC is equal to half of angle DAC. DAC is equal to 90 degrees. So angles BAC is equal to 45 degrees. The second way. Let's go back to the first way after getting triangle OCA and triangle OAD are similar. Let's say angle ADO is alpha. So angle OAC is equal to alpha because the similar relationship. Connect DA. Let's say angle OEA is beta. OE and OA are both radii of the semicircle. So OE and OA are equal. Angle OA is also equal to beta. Obviously, angle BA is also equal to 90 degrees because BE is the diameter of the right semicircle. So we get angle BAD plus angle BAC equal to 90 degrees. Meanwhile, angle CAE plus angle BAC equal to 90 degrees. 
so angle BAD and angle CAE are equal. So we get angle BAD is equal to alpha plus beta. Now let's find an angle BAC. Angle CBA is the outer angle of angle BDA and angle BAD. So the angle CBA is equal to 2 times alpha plus beta. Meanwhile we can get angle BCA is equal to alpha plus twice beta. So we can get two equations. Angle BAC plus alpha plus beta is equal to 90 degrees. Angle BAC plus twice alpha plus beta plus alpha plus twice beta. It's equal to 180 degrees. We get angle BAC plus 3 times alpha plus beta is equal to 180 degrees. Alpha plus beta is equal to 90 degrees minus angle BAC. Then, we can get the equation for angle BAC. Nine zero degrees minus two times angle BAC is equal to zero. Now we find the answer. Angle BAC is equal to forty five degrees. Now let's finding the third way. Let's go back to the first way again. After we get AC over AD is equal to 4 over 8, we can get AC over AD is equal to 1 half. Let's say angle ADC is alpha. So the tangent alpha is equal to 1 half. We find the center of the left circle, which is point P. Connect the PA. Then connect the EA. And we can also find that the diameter of the left circle is equal to 8 plus 4. Is 12. The radius PA is equal to 6. Segment PB is equal to 2. Let's say angle BEA is beta. We can get that triangle PAB is similar to triangle PAE reference the first way. AB over AE. That's equal to one third. So we get the tangent beta is equal to one third. Tangent alpha is equal to one half, tangent beta is equal to one third. There is a special relationship between them. They're a model that looks like a six hole window. When tangent alpha equals one half, tangent beta is equal to one third according to this model. Alpha plus beta. It's equal to 45 degrees. Then through point A, make a perpendicular segment to BC. Intersect at point F. It's easy to know by the vertical relationship. Angle CAF is equal to alpha. Angle BAF is equal to beta.
angle BAC is equal to alpha plus beta. Angle BAC is equal to 45 degrees. Now let's finding the fourth way. Through point A. Make a vertical segment against base BC. Intersect at point F. Connect DA. Then connect EA. Let's say angle CDA is alpha. Angle BEA is beta. Complete the whole circle on the left. Extension AB. Intersect the circle at point G. The center of left circle is point P. Connect PA and PG. We can figure out angle BAF is equal to beta. Reference previous way. And we can also figure out that angle PAB is also equal to beta. And PG and PA are radii of a circle. PG equal to PA. So angle PGB is equal to beta. So we can get segment PG and AF are parallel. We can get the angle CPC is equal to 90 degrees. And angle GPC is central angle of circle. Its corresponding arc is GC. The arc corresponding to angle BAC is also GC. So angle BAC is equal to one half of angle GPC. Angle BAC is equal to one half times 90 degrees. Angle BAC equal to 45 degrees. Let's go ahead. Finding the fifth way. Refer to the previous way we get the radius of the left semicircle is equal to 6. The radius of the right semicircle is equal to 8. PO is equal to 2 plus 4 plus 4, which is equal to 10. AP squared plus AO squared is equal to PO squared. By the Pythagorean theorem, we can get AP is perpendicular to AO. When we get this vertical relationship, we can get OA tangent to the left semicircle. So angle OCA is equal to alpha. Meanwhile, PA is tangent to the circle on the right. Angle PAB is equal to beta. Let's go through point A to make a segment perpendicular to BC. Intersect at point F. We can get Angle BAF is equal to beta. Angle CAF is equal to alpha. So we get alpha plus alpha plus beta plus beta is equal to 90 degrees. Angle BAC is equal to alpha plus beta. 
so we get angle BAC is equal to 45 degrees. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe my channel. Turning the bell on so you won't miss my future videos. See you next time.